Hello friends, welcome to the Science Facts and this is part number 75 and as you can see the photograph of broccoli, it means it is something related to broccoli. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do click on subscribe button and please click on notification bell icon. So let's go for today's Science Facts. Okay, this is broccoli. So do you know exposure to broccoli sprouts protects against colitis in bowel disease? So what about this? Diets high in fiber, including those that contain broccoli sprouts or other curiferous vegetables may help mice with inflammatory bowel disease that is IBD live longer and feel better. The results were published in the American Society of Microbiology General M Systems. What more about this my dear friends? In addition to examining the relationship between the mice immune system and the broccoli sprout diet, the researchers also looked at the microbes living in the Crohn's disease affected gut and how they would metabolize an inactive broccoli sprout component to produce an anti-inflammatory compound in the gut. Wow, it is great, isn't it? So great and good to eat broccoli, isn't it? So what more? They also sought to see if and how much a diet rich in broccoli sprout reduces Crohn's symptoms given the anti-inflammatory metabolites found in the sprouts. In the study, the researchers used four groups of IL-10KO mice. In the first round, scientists enlisted four-week-old mice who ate regular mouse chow the entire time, as well as mice who ate mouse chow with the raw broccoli sprouts mixed in. They used the same two diet groups in the second round, but the mice were seven-week-old. So it means they have used two kind of mice, four-week-old and seven-week-old, isn't it? So what's more? Do we have something more? Yes, we have. The researchers were particularly interested in understanding the development of IBDs in early life, which is why they studied the Crohn's mouse model at the juvenile stage, that is four to six week old, and at the adolescence stage, that is seven to nine weeks old, with hopes to better understand how host diet microbial community interaction and disease severity differ by age so it is great so it's good for us so i hope you will also have some broccoli in your diet isn't it so if you have diet then please let me know in my comment section and if you like this video please click on like button and you can always subscribe my channel please do subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon so that you will get the notification time to time and please do share this video with your friends and family and you can always write to us whatever you want to whether it is a suggestion or whatever so i would love to see your comments and i would like to say you a great thank you thank you very much all of you and we'll meet soon till then thank you bye bye